चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन टिग्नोमेट्री हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंसेस सो फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस टॉपिक लाइक वॉट इज हॉरिजोंटल वर्टिकल हॉरिजोंटल मीन्स पैरल टू सर्फेस एंड वर्टिकल मीन्स परपेंडिकुलर टू द सर्फेस राइट वॉट इज एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन suppose we assume that there is a tower ab and a is the top of the tower and b is the foot of the tower and there is a person standing at c and c is the top of the tower right so this should be the line of sight right and the distance from c of person c from the foot of the uh tower is this cb right and ab is the height of the tower right so angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight right so the angle between horizontal and line of sight is called angle of elevation right let's discuss angle of depression suppose a person is standing at a at the top of the tower and sees a uh, some object at position c so he will be looking downward right so this will be the line of sight so now this at a if you draw the horizontal line which is parallel to the x axis so this should be the horizontal line right now this line of sight what the angle this line of sight will make with the horizontal is called angle of depression right this is the height of the tower the tower should be perpendicular to the surface so this angle will be 90 degree so these when these two lines become parallel these two angles will also be equal so most of the condition the angle of depression and angle of elevation be equal because the distances are uh, the horizontal lines are parallel right children note down please now children let's discuss few sums to find the unknown variables in height and distance problem by using trigonometrical ratios i have taken this problem one in which the question says the height of the tree is root 3 times its shadow that means height is root 3 times its shadow find the angle of elevation of the sun that means sun is casting some angle of elevation so what i have done here let's see the diagram discuss the diagram first let the ab be some tree right and the shadow is this side then sun must be this side opposite side and this is the angle of the elevation right so bc will be the shadow so this shadow is uh, this height is root 3 times uh, the length of the shadow so i have assumed that the shadow length be x so the height of ab will be root 3x all right children the height of ab will be root 3x right so and i have assumed this angle as theta angle of elevation as theta right now let's see what i have written here solution let ab be the height let ab be a tree casting its shadow bc and theta is the angle of elevation right in in height and distance problem children this uh, figure is very important draw the figure properly first right always remember so theta is the angle of elevation so what i have done let uh, therefore in triangle abc we have to find this angle and we are given with base and perpendicular this is the right angle triangle what is given what are given base and perpendicular given and we have to calculate this angle right so what uh, what trigonometrical ratio relates base and perpendicular tan and cot right so i have taken tan here tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base and here perpendicular is ab and base is bc right so tan tan theta will be ab upon bc so when we put substituted the value of ab as root 3x and bc as x x will get cancel and what we are left with root 3 right children and in tan root 3 is the value of tan 60 degree right tan 0 0 tan 30 1 by root 3 tan 45 1 tan 60 root 3 and tan 90 not defined infinity so tan theta in place of root 3 we can write tan 60 so when we compare we get the value of theta as 60 degree all right children now we have calculated the value of the angle of elevation as 60 degree understood 
Note down, please. Let's see another sum, children. In this sum, the question says, a boy 1.6 meter tall is 20 meter away from the tower and observes the angle of elevation of the top of the tower as 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. Right. Let's draw the diagram from the information given. Let the tower be AB and the height of the tower be H meters. Right. So this is H meters. The tower's height is H meters. Now, there's a boy stand CD standing at 20 meter distance, 20 meter away from the tower. So the boy's height is 1.6 meters. So let, let the length of the CD be 1.6, right? And if you draw the line of sight of C to A, right? And the horizontal line of from the boy, right? So it will be CE. So if this is 20, the distance between the tower is 20. So this line will also be 20, right? So, and this angle is 60 degree. The angle of elevation of the boy and the top of the tower is given 60 degree. Now, when we draw perpendicular from C to AB, this AE distance will be, so this distance will be, BE will be 1.6 as the height of the boy. This will be 1.6. So this distance will be H minus 1.6. This is written H minus 1.6, right? So now what we'll say, let's see the solution. What, what we have assumed, let A be the tower of height h meter, C D be a boy of height 1.6 meter. Now you see that in triangle A C E, if you apply tan 60 degree, so tan 60 degree, uh, tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So tan 60 degree will be A E upon C E and the length of A E is h minus 1.6 and C E as 20. Right. So tan 60 degree will be root 3. And when you cross multiply this 20, it will become root 3 into 20 equals to h minus 1.6. Now root 20 into root 3 will be 34.64 children. And when you transfer this minus 6, that minus 1.6, that side, it will become plus 1.6. So h, the height of the tower will be 34.64 plus 1.6. So when we add what we'll get height of the tower as 36.24 meters. Right children, note down this. Let's see another some children. The question says here that the angle of elevation of the top of an unfinished tower from the point at a distance of 80 meter from its base is 30 degree. How much the tower be raised so that the angle of elevation at the same point is 60 degree. Let's draw the diagram from the information given in the question. There is an unfinished tower. So we have assumed that let the BC be an unfinished tower of height A meters. And when, when it is finished, the height will be become, we, it has raised by a B or B meters. So the height of the total height of the tower will be A plus B meters. Now we are observing the angle of elevation from point B, D here. And D is 80 meter away from the foot of the tower. So that means C D distance will be 80 meters. It is all given in the question. See, at a point 80 meter away from its base. That means from point C, D is 80 meter away. Distance C D will be 80 meters right when it was unfinished the angle of elevation was observed as 30 degree so when that means if you see the top when unfinished from d to a b the angle of elevation will be 30 degree and when it is finished the angle of elevation has become 60 degree so this angle will be 60 degree this is the top of the finished tower this is the top of the unfinished tower right children all right, let's see the solution. Let BC be the tower of A meter high and afterwards uh, it will be raised to AB or B meters. To B meters and D be any point 80 meter away from the tower. 
So what we're doing, let's discuss in triangle. Let's see in triangle BCD first, this triangle BCD, right? Here the angle of elevation is 30 degree. So if we apply tan 30 degree, it will be perpendicular upon base. It will be A upon 80. So when we apply tan 30, it will be A upon 80. So the value of A is 80 upon root 3. Why? Because this is 1 upon root 3. And when you cross multiply 80, you will get the value of A as 80 upon root 3. Making as the first condition. Understood children? So what we got the value of A, the height of the unfinished tower. Now let's see in triangle ADC. In triangle ADC, this angle of elevation will be 60 degree. Right? Angle of elevation will be 60 degree. The length of the perpendicular, the height of the tower is A plus B. So if you apply tan 60 degree here, you will get perpendicular upon hyper, uh, base. That will be AC upon CD. Right? That means AC is A plus B and CD is 80. So when you cross multiply, the value of tan 60 is root 3. When you cross multiply 80 here, it will become 80 root 3 equals to A plus B. So the value of B will be, right, we, can, we transfer this A that side, so it will become minus A. So the value of B will be 80 root 3 minus 80 upon root 3. Taking root 3 as the LCM, you can see that it will become 240 minus 80 upon root 3, that will be 160 upon root 3. Okay. On cross uh, dividing it by root 3 and uh, it will become denominator will become 3. Then what will get the value of B on simplifying? We get the value of B as 92.38 meters. Right? Understood children? Note down please.